This octopus can kill you in less than 30 minutes. You'll be paralyzed, you will die. And I'm gonna show you how. He literally opened my GoPro case. Whoa, look at him. Whoa. I'm searching for cool animals hidden in these rock pools. At low tide, they love to hunt. I'm also gonna keep my eye out for treasure, old coins, gold rings. You name it, are all trapped between these rocks after heavy flooding and erosion. That is the biggest sea slug I've ever seen. That's so weird. <laughs> we'll let him go. Check this out. Look at his eyes. You can see just how well camouflaged he is from the surface you would never know. Oh, he's trying to grab onto my hand. Oh, wow. He's curious. Off he goes. He's reaching out again. I'm going to try and put the GoPro down to lure him out. Just going to drink some coffee while I wait for him to come back out again. Oh, I think he's coming out. Oh my god, he's stealing my GoPro. He's gonna steal it. <laughs> Look at that. He's got it. He's got my camera. He's lit. He's he's actually just got my camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I just got it. Just waiting for that octopus to come back out. My hand is literally stuck. Oh, I spot another one. Look at him. Oh, I'm literally standing on uh, oysters. Oh, here we go. Look at him. Here he is. Oh, he's a bit standoffish. I'm just gonna put my hand out and see what happens. He's reaching for me. Oh, he's just gone in between my legs. Can you spot the octopus? It's actually right there. And like I say, in these weeds, you would never know. Tide's actually going out right now, so I think he's just looking for food while he can. We'll let him go. Can't believe that. That's like three octopus in like 20 minutes. They don't call me the octopus whisperer for nothing. <laughs> Whoa, octopus number four. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's four in like half an hour. I've never seen so many. They're all hunting for fish and whatever they can get in these low tides where they're trapped. But I think it's time I tell you what I'm really looking for. The blue ringed octopus. They're one of the most venomous creatures on the planet and they live here in these rock pools. I've never actually seen one before, but I really want to find one. They are actually nocturnal. They hunt at night. They're pretty small, just a couple inches big and they blend in really well. They're probably hiding under rocks during the day. They're like a yellowy brown color, but when they're agitated or hunting, they have these beautiful bright blue rings. It's going to be really hard to find, but I have my hopes up, fingers crossed. This is the perfect kind of territory. So like I said, gotta be careful, but underneath rocks and things is probably where they're hiding. Guys, my heart is racing. I literally think I found one right there. Oh yeah, that's definitely a blue ringed octopus. All right, what I'm gonna do is try and get it to come out. I don't wanna disturb it too much, but we're gonna try and get it out and get a good display of the colors for you. Here we go. These octopus are actually incredibly interesting. They don't even make their own venom. They actually collect bacteria from the ocean floor, store it in their salivary glands, and with their small beak, make a cut into their prey and inject that saliva. And if that got into a human, you'll be paralyzed and dead within 30 minutes. If you don't receive any medical treatment, you will die. There's no anti-venom. They're so small. They're such beautiful animals. That is unbelievable. Obviously, I'm walking around barefoot. If I would have stood where he was, likely would have gotten bitten. And the cuts from these things are so small that you probably won't even know you've been bitten until you start feeling the symptoms. I've only been here for 10 minutes. I've been trying to find them for so long. They honestly just look like a little bit of weed. But luckily for me, he already had his blue rings out he was probably hunting for fish it's 10 o'clock low tide perfect time he's just gone under that rock shelf obviously i'm not going to stick my hand under there but there's no reason to be scared of these creatures like I, I even went to him and he immediately hit under a rock they're not trying to hurt you but if they have to they will so respect it and it will respect you they're so awesome man let's go Oh my god guys, after 
probably seven hours after finding that octopus the first time I actually found one in the wild you're probably wondering why I spent seven hours looking for another blue ringed octopus after finding one in just 10 minutes quite simply I just didn't get any footage before it disappeared under that rock ledge I can't believe that it was there it was right there but I fumbled and I missed the shot he's under that rock ledge There's so many places for him to hide he's super small I honestly don't know if I'm gonna find another one I was like, there's a cool clamshell down there. And then I noticed an octopus had it. Whoa, check out this shell. This is actually another highly venomous creature, the cone snail. But this one's empty, so we'll explore this guy another time. That's insane. I don't know why all those shrimp were hanging around that octopus. You're gonna get eaten. He was strong though, he was strong. I just love how super secretive octopus are. Like if you weren't looking for them, you probably wouldn't see them. Whoa, I found a coin right here. Whoa, it's a 10 cent piece right there. Awesome. <laughs> There's another coin right there. Boom, just a five cent piece. I've actually found coins here many times before. People roll them off there, I think, because there's a lookout up there. Let's keep looking. So it is 12.03 and I'm at the beach. It's low tide and uh, lighthouse is beaming, but we're gonna go hunt down this blue ring octopus, hopefully not just for that, but I really wanna see what kind of animals are out that are nocturnal. So yeah, I've never done this at night. This is gonna be really exciting. Let's go. Whoa, the first thing I'm noticing is there's so many crabs out here. Like if I didn't have this light, I would be losing my toes right now. There's bugs everywhere. Ah, I've eaten at least one bug. This sand is just sucking me in. It's now 1 a.m. and I haven't had any luck whatsoever, but it's still just super cool to see what kind of animals are out at night. Just found a cone snail, another super venomous creature, but it really depends if someone's home or not. There is sand in it. Whoa, oh, the waves are coming. I don't know if he's alive or not. It's really hard to tell. Well, I'm just gonna put it in my pocket and hope no one's home. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Whoa, all right. I'm out of here. And that was the whole journey leading up to finding and filming the mysteriously beautiful blue ringed octopus. I was just coming around this rock and I saw him on there, actually at high tide, hunting. They can even release their venom, tetrodotoxin, into the water. He's just very calm and unassuming for the third most venomous animal on the face of the planet. He's just gone under that rock now. I actually got really good shots. Oh, I'm so happy. That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm so stoked. What a cool animal. Well, wow. he's made quite the trek to come up here for high tide. So I'll let him go and keep on hunting. Oh, that is unreal. So I rarely do see octopus just out hunting in the open. So I'm going to give him my GoPro. No strings attached. Let's see what happens. This might be a bad idea. I might not ever see this camera again. I'm really interested to see what he does with it. Huh, I wonder what all those bubbles are. No! It's probably a bad idea. I might not ever see this camera again. He literally opened my GoPro case and it flooded my GoPro. Oh my goodness. I can't be upset with him for that. I gave him it. Of course I know they can do things like that, but that is just so crazy. I can't believe he just opened it and it broke my camera. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Fair play, big man. Fair play. That is honestly really impressive. 